Who would win in a fight, an AI or a quantum computer? No, this isn't a teaser for some kind of sci-fi movie. Researchers in Sweden recently claimed to have broken a post-quantum cryptographic cipher using an AI. What's going on here? Are we all doomed? Find out in this video. As you may know, quantum computers are expected to cripple some types of cryptography by, let's say, a decade or so. To prepare for this coming crypto apocalypse, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST, has been selecting new finalists to replace RSA and usher in a new era of post-quantum cryptography, or PQC. In July 2022, NIST recommended its first finalist in the cipher search, Crystal's Kyber. There's no standard yet, that's expected in 2024, and will include a few final choices, but Crystal's Kyber was the first surprise early release, or heads up, to the industry. Researchers from the KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, Sweden, delivered their own surprise. The team claimed to have broken the Crystal's Kyber algorithm using a combination of recursive training AI and side channel attacks. Did an AI accomplish what a quantum computer shouldn't be able to? The researchers used a technique known as vertical side channel leakage detection to analyze the decryption function of the Crystal's Kyber algorithm. This technique involves analyzing the electrical signals produced by a computer when performing cryptographic operations. By analyzing these signals, the researchers identified weaknesses in the algorithm that could be exploited using a side channel attack. Side channel attacks are nothing new. They were first introduced in the late 90s. They exploit how a protocol or algorithm is implemented, not the actual mathematical underpinnings. For example, imagine a fictional secure password input operation in a program. A possible side channel attack could exist where you could observe and analyze the power consumption of a CPU running the program to reverse what's being entered, let's say, as the password. Side channel attacks are one of the most significant reasons that NIST didn't just look at blackboards and mathematicians and declare PQC finalists. Actually implementing solid ideas into bulletproof cryptography is hard. To make Crystal's Kyber resistant to side channel attacks, a method known as masking will be used. Put simply, this approach randomly splits a secret into several shares, so an attacker must gather all of them to rebuild the secret. High order masking is when more and more random values or masks are used to protect a sensitive value. Specifically, an N order masked implementation uses N plus one random values to protect each sensitive value. For example, a fifth order masked implementation would use six random values to protect each sensitive value. Here's where things get interesting. As admitted in the KTH paper that's causing such a stir in the industry, no higher order implementation of Crystal's Kyber is publicly available. This is still a finalist, not a piece of production code. The authors had to modify the existing first order masked C implementation of Crystal's Kyber to extend it to higher orders of masking, such as fifth order. Yes, you heard that right. The researchers literally created the code that they attacked. I get that they're trying to prove a future weakness, but we have to clarify that this attack did not topple a bit of code that NIST released into the world. The current finalist code repositories state they're not for production. That said, there is merit to the technique that the researchers used, and it'll need to be considered, as should all potential threats during the torture testing phase of a cipher's development. Where does AI come into all of this? The researchers used a recursive training AI algorithm to analyze the data collected from power trace side channel leakage detection to carry out the side channel attack. This is not the first use of a neural network in a side channel attack. The first paper on the subject was published back in 2016. In the new paper, we learn that power traces from fourth and fifth order masking implementations were used to train an AI with batch normalization. Remember, these fourth and fifth order masking implementations were coded by the researchers, but the results are still impressive. They show power traces in one example with prominent clear peaks revealing the positions of two of the shares used in masking. Researchers claim 
this recovery of a message bit can be repeated with over 99% success in higher order masking. While the researcher's findings have yet to be independently verified, they do raise concerns about the security of post-quantum encryption algorithms like Crystal's Kyber. The recent finalist Psyc, for example, also suffered a side channel attack in its implementation. We can't release final standards like this and code to protect against the quantum threat only to have them all fall to a bunch of AIs running on laptops that are fed juicy power traces and other side channel information. The most significant danger revealed here is that AI methods for enhancing side channel attacks may continue to get better faster than we can predict. Also, as the authors state, the recursive learning method may apply to other types of encryption, including ones not vulnerable to a side channel attack. That's a pretty scary thought. I look forward to seeing the new countermeasures those same authors are working on for side channel attacks. That's sort of the point of vulnerability research of all types learning what we can do better in the future. For now, AI may have a virtual leg up on quantum computers in the imminent cryptographic threat race that most people probably didn't even think existed. I know I'll be watching this space closely as we await the NIST standards in 2024. Will vulnerability research with AIs or not delay this? Whenever the standards are released, that will be the real crypto apocalypse. Keep that in mind, because once those are out, businesses will find regulators knocking on their doors to do something about making the switch. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss future videos where I demystify the latest developments in quantum computing, cryptography, and AI. Thanks for watching.